Our last reunion was held on July 2012 on Kauai. Only a few of us are left, but it was a wonderful farewell reunion. Ray Smith came all the way from Chicago, and Constantia came from Iowa. Grace Tanaka joined us after being away for so long. Six of the participants have passed away since the reunion seven years ago. Grace Tanaka and Ron Heitsuka were named King and Queen for the reunion ball. Some of the handsome guys in our class, Kazu, Hisashi, Ed Naito, Harold, myself, and Willie Amorosa. Some of the beautiful girls in our class, there's Clarissa, Mitzi, Jojo, who's Pat's son, wife, Florence, Sumako, Lillian, Marion, and Flora. That odd character in the back looks like Pat Augustine. Here's Helen flirting with Mamo again. Looks like old times in Color Hill. Beautiful Flora Kodama. She was originally from Kipu, but moved to Puhi when Kipu Plantation closed. This, uh, this is a rare photo of Bertha Yamamoto on the far right. She just dropped by to say hello, and but did not attend. Robert Watari is here showing us his tarot patch in Hanalei. He turned over the um, ownership of his fields to his sons, so he is retired now. But he goes to work in the morning every day for free. He sure loves to work. Here's Florence Funamura picking long gun at Barbet Watara's fruit farm in Kalihiwai. We picked hundreds of pounds of fruit to give to, the, to our friends and family and to the homeless. These are the fruit pickers at the Watari farm. We did this for many years, every summer, until the trees grew so big that they were chopped down. This is a memorial for Robert Minatoya, who died in 2011. As requested, his ashes were scattered near the childhood home in Kapaya about a year later. This memorial tent was provided by his friend Lorraine Moritsugi a few yards from his former house next to the Papaya, Kapaya bridge that you see it on the right. Mabel Minatoya is welcoming guests and thanking them for attending. Although not in good health, he brought ashes all the way from California. Here's Stan Kaluahini giving the blessings at a ceremony. He spoke in Hawaiian and gave the traditional Hawaiian farewell. The person on the left is uh, John Minatoya, that's Robert's son, and he had a hard time unsealing the container with the ashes. Finally, we had to use a knife to open the con container.
Here's Mabel scattering Robert's ashes into Kapaya stream. It was a very somber moment, and Mabel stood there alone, deep in her thoughts. This is a class reunion in the year 2009. This was supposed to be our 60th anniversary, but I moved it up a year early because Rose Schumacher wanted to attend this event so much and she was dying. However, she got very sick a couple of weeks before the reunion and she could not attend. She died soon after. The lady on the far right, first row, is Dion Teal. She joined our class in her junior year after coming to Kauai from New England. Her father died and they couldn't run the dairy farm, so they came to Kauai. She had very fond memories of Kauai High because she was well accepted and other students brought her flowers to wear. She went on to commercial art school in California she now resides in Southern California with her, step with her daughter. Here at our 60th anniversary, we presented Kauai High School with a check of $4,500 for three scholarships. Traditionally, this gift is given on the 50th anniversary, but we forgot to do it then. Catherine Nakatsuji, our class officer, presented the check to Principal Linda Smith. The money was contributed by class members. Victor Daguma donated $1,000. He said it was for a special reason, which he'll reveal to me at a later date. However, he died before telling me the reason. In this photo, we see Robert Minatoya attending the reunion. He's sitting on, standing on the far right. He developed lung cancer after the event and died a year later. This is the Hanalei Kilauea group. It also includes Maloa and Hanamaulu. You see James Kimura on the far right. Betsy, Betty Tsukamoto is in the back. This is the Color Hill group. Cecilia, as you see, is on the left, and Miwao Kokami is on the right. This group is the Koloa group. Our class president, Les Wesley Hayashi is not, is not there, he's missing. He died unexpectedly 10 years earlier from a heart attack. This is the Julia group. The girls are missing. Sister Padilla was over in Molokai taking care of the leper patients. This group is a Lihui Puhi group. It's the largest group and includes all from all the way from Aokini to New Malo. This is uh, Jim Kimura and his wife Sandra. They had an adopted son who lived on Kauai, so they visit Kauai every year. His son was an avid surface, surfacer. This is Bert Nakamura and Sadie. Sadie attended college in Iowa at the same time as Helen Matsunaga. They knew each other over there. This is Flora Kodama and Toto Oshima. The Kodama girls moved from Hulaia to Puhi and married Puhi boys. The Puhi boys were very lucky and didn't have far to go to find wives. This is Ron Haitsuka and Alice Jane. 
Alice is a teacher and has roots in Hanalei, although she grew up in Honolulu. This is Pat Augustine and his wife Jojo. Now Jojo was about 20 years younger than Pat, and Pat agreed to marry Jojo if she would agree to cook for him. Jojo agreed, but sadly, Pat found out that Jojo was not much of a cook and they ended up eating in Tip Top Cafe and McDonald many times for their meals. Jojo died suddenly about a year before Pat died. She died of a toothache in 48 hours. It was a shock for us. This is our love birds Haru, Fukumoto and Chiko. They were high school sweethearts. She being a Waimea High cheerleader and Haru being a football legend at Kawai High. They met when Haru went to Waimea to play football, their football team. It was love at first sight. This is our buddy Willie Amorosa and Joan. Theirs was what we call a love, true love. Proof of that is the many children and grandchildren they produced. When Willie retired from the Air Force, he decided to take his family on a trip tour of the country, taking his kids and all his family belongings. They went on a on a VW car and were loaded to the top. The only way they could get everyone in was for Billy to squeeze in and Willie at the time was skinny so she could fit in. This is our friend Jack Wakayama and Florence. Florence was a classmate of my wife in Honolulu. They have two sons who live nearby. This is Akiko Tamura and Raymond Yamamoto. Of all the lovebirds we have in our class, we had in our class, they were the only ones who ever got married. But Akiko had to wait two years for Raymond to finish his military draft. It was a wait well worth it, because Raymond is a true gentleman. The next is Ed Henke and Sue. Their marriage was made in heaven. Both are serious golfers and excel in it, winning many tournaments. Ed went back to college after his career in the Air Force. He majored in business administration and got a job as an academic advisor at, at a local college. He retired from his second career and devoted his time with golfing with Sue. This is Florence Labrador from Koloa with Mo. Florence has a distinction of being the shortest Air Force airman at 4 feet 10 inches, which is 2 inches short of qualification. She got in by hoodwinking the examiner by wearing a shoe with 2 inch heels. Mo was a veteran of the, Korea, of the uh, Philippine Army in a guerrilla force and fought the Japanese in World War II. Maria Hashimoto and Cho with Sumako. Maria came to us for the last two years. She came from Honoka, Big Island, at the invitation of, our, of his, her cousin, Harold Hashimoto. The plantation strike left Hashimoto family in Honoka penniless and they were living on bananas from the backyard. To this day, Maria honors the lowly banana for saving her life and prays to it with thanks. This is beautiful Catherine Nakatsuchi with Dr. Albert. 
with classmate Edith Kamehiro. Kate cut short her teaching career to raise a family and help her Dr. Albert in his thriving dental office. I miss seeing her long, beautiful hair that Kate had in high school. Edith still lives in Kapal. The next photo is of, of cheerleader Gilbert Funis and Carol Santos. Amazing, isn't it? While we're all getting old and gray, here's Gilbert not changed much from high school and not a speck of gray in his head. I wonder if he's using black shoe polish to cover her, his gray. But most likely it was his daily trip to the gym that did the trick. Carol got her old spring back since moving with her daughter. No more housework, just relax and enjoy her daughter's cooking. These are the wives of our classmates, Shirley Nakamura on the left, Gwen Zaima, Clara Nuevo. Shirley has had Alzheimer's for many years, and when a doctor told Mamo that he had six months to live, he told the doctor he cannot die because before Shirley dies because he has to take care of her. Mamo defied all odds and lived for another six years. The second person is Gwen, who is James Simon's second wife, and Clara, who is Tino's wife. Glenn and Gwen and Claire, Clara are sisters, and they look alike. This is my good friend George Olhoffen on the right. When we were class fresh freshmen at the University of Hawaii, we were required to take PE and swimming was a sport that we took. Coach Nakamoto Sakamoto required that we swim the entire length of the swimming pool at 50 meters to pass the course. Any form of swimming was allowed, even dog paddle. If you don't make it to the end and drown, you don't pass. Strange at the scene, this world famous swim coach Sakamoto couldn't, didn't know how to swim. So if you were drowning, he carried a long pole to you to grab on and he pulled you in. When it came George's time to swim, he dove in and coach expected him to surface and start swimming. But strangely, George didn't come up to the surface. So the coach waited and waited and waited, but still no George. Finally, the coach got worried and grabbed his pole and went out to fish George out, but no George to fish out. The God coach got frantic, and after what appeared to be an eternity, George suddenly popped out at the end of the pool. He had swum the whole pool underwater. The coach was aghast and didn't know whether to laugh or to cry. But he kept his word when he said any form of swimming will do. He never expected underwater, and it never happened before. Well, the coach didn't know at that time that George was an amphibian. George lived in Poipu Beach, and he lived half of his time in the ocean and half on land. He was equally at home at either place. This is a rare photo of Mildred Nakamura, who was unique in our class. She lived her entire life in the same place in the forest home in Julia Valley. She was a single mom and raised a beautiful family who lived with her. She is busy now caring for her grandchildren. They raised an orphan baby wild pig to adulthood called Dolly. One day, while trampling through the forest, they came across a pig hunter's trap, and in, in it was a pig. They checked, and it was Dolly. They released and took her home just in time before the trapper took, made Kalua out of her.
this reunion in Vegas in 2004 was one of the biggest reunions we had. It was co-chaired by Betty Lau and Jack Wakayama. Zach and I decided we needed a follow-up from the 2050 year reunion, so we scheduled this. It was more than a reunion. We scheduled tours and other events. Jack even got local entertainers to perform for us for free. There were islanders who lived in Vegas and entertained groups from Hawaii. These are some of the entertainers that entertained us at the Vegas 2004 reunion. Here we see Kazu Yamamoto losing his lunch money at the slot and laughing about it. And Marion winning her lunch money and wanting more. This is the uh, golf tournament that Ed Hankey arranged for our class at the Air Force Golf Course. Here's the picture of the banquet. This Kaluhini on the left. Tino far right. Kumarang. Al Kumarang second left front. This is a get together in LA of the 1950 class to honor Kenji Horiuchi, who was from Kawai High and was one of the eight graduates in the first Kawai High School graduate class in 1918. He was 100 years old at that time. <laughs> 